Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy D. Lloyd. So I'm here with a quick video. This is a live commentary once again. And I'm going to try to keep this video very short. But a couple of you guys have been asking about some of our player ratings and some of um, our player progressions and how I use some of our XP and our skill points and things like that. So I'm going to be going over a lot of our players' skills and their attributes overall. And just so you guys can see, they're updated overall. See where they're at now in, week, I mean, in season number three. And then you can see where some of their XP has been going. So we're going to start off with obviously Marcus Mariota. Now you guys know, I believe he was an 80 or maybe an 81 overall when we first started. He is now a 92 overall with a plus 2 to make him a 94 overall. And one of the main things I wanted to do, I wanted to get all of his, both his short accuracy and his medium accuracy to above 90. So I believe the actual, let's see if I can actually look at the actual stats. I think he is, he has to be around a 90. 90 short accuracy, 92 mid accuracy, somewhere around there. There we go. 93 short accuracy and a 90 medium accuracy. That is his actual attributes. One of the main things that I've been trying to focus on with him is his awareness. So I do have it up to 96. I do plan to go ahead and just cap this off at a 99 overall. So I will probably be able to do this in about two or maybe three more games. Marcus Mariota should be a 99 overall in awareness. And then after that, I'll probably go start focusing on deep accuracy. The short and medium accuracy, like I said, has been very good so far. And I don't think there's really anything I, anything else I need to touch on with Marcus Mariota, especially at this point. I mean, the man's been balling. His, his consistency is good. I might touch that after I mess with long um, his deep accuracy. But besides that, Marcus Mariota, he's been balling for us. And I think, you know, he'll end up being easily a 95 96 97 overall player now cj Carr, that's the rookie who we got last year i haven't used a lot of his xp the reason why is i actually want to upgrade his developmental ability so right now he has the um, normal developmental skills and i want to move that one up so that's what i'm waiting on he needs 18,000 xp i currently have 15,000, and i'm going to move that up to quick the reason why because he's only 22 years old and i just want to get him up to quick and then once i get that i know he's going to start getting xp a little bit quicker and then i'm gonna start using him towards his attributes but cj Carr haven't really touched him too much and the rest of the offense like i said a lot of our receivers um doyo green beckham only thing i really focus on with him has been his catching so that is up to i think is a 91 that should be the actual overall It's a 93 up here because almost everybody on my team has a 99 confidence so you're gonna see a lot of greens on almost everybody that we go on michael floyd you know he is new to the team but he does have a 99 confidence as well i haven't used i don't think i've used anything on michael floyd yet he has 1800 i might start using some eventually to move up his catching but really haven't used anything at all for him my offensive line almost strictly pass blocking that's pretty much everything i've been doing for a lot of these players and then awareness we already have a decent pass blocking i've been putting it on awareness if you don't have pass blocking that's where everything has been focusing on with them so tyler the one he is 93 overall and then chance warmack he's a 96 overall and that's just because i put everything on their pass blocking so when we look at the defensive side of the football really haven't done too much with a lot of these players um the honey badger like I said, I just got him. He has 2,000. I did spend some early on him to give him the um, strip ball um, trait. But besides that, haven't used anything with him yet. But I'm definitely going to once I bank up some more points. And I do like to bank up a couple points before I put them all on all the players. So probably week, I don't even know, week 8. So probably like around week 12 again. I'll probably go through another run. And I'll probably upgrade a lot of these players. Our cornerbacks, Jason McCourty. Only thing I really focused on with him was his coverage. So I did boost up his zone coverage a little bit because I do play the majority zone. I am a 3-4 zone blitzing team. So I have to have a zone a zone coverage cornerback or else it's not going to work. Now, one of the things I'm thinking about doing is with Eduardo Russell. Now, his actual overall is a 52 overall. So I don't think you can see this because they have him as kick returner. But right here, he's a 52 overall. I did draft him in our first draft that we did, but he has 97 speed. So that's why he's been so effective as a return man. But I do actually plan on upgrading his catching. And I actually, I'm going to do that now while I'm talking to you guys. Do plan on upgrading his catching a little bit. 
And I'm trying to get him a little bit more involved in this offense. Now, his route running is not that, pretty much nothing is that good for him. So his awareness is a 49. Um, juke move 78. I don't know if I passed route running or not. I don't I probably passed it. Trucking's only a 27. He doesn't have a lot of good attributes, but his speed, there we go, right running is 55. His speed is fantastic. Now I made us catching at 86. I can work on his catching traffic, and maybe Eduardo Russell can start getting into the game a little bit at receiver. That will be a, he'll be a huge playmaker because you can, you already see what he does um, as a kick return, a punt return. But I think that's pretty much it. This video is already five minutes, so I'm going to try to get this done. That's pretty much everything. If you guys need to see anything else, let me know. I'm going to make another video during our bye week. We have two weeks before then. You can see our um, schedule right here. We've played the Houston Texans next. And then you can see the standings right there as well. We're 6-1. Jacksonville is 4-2. And, and the Texans are 3-3. Three and three. But I'll probably make another video during the bye week. So if I miss something or something specific that you want to see, let me know in the comment section below. But that's it for this episode. Please leave this video a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. It's your boy D-Lord. I'm going to see you all next time. Peace.